And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner from France, Hakim Hamid. From Team Nassar K in France, the 25-year-old Hakim Hamesh makes his way to the ring. He's eight wins from 15 under Muay Thai rules, five from eight in K1. Still just 25 years of age. He's active, fought twice this year, but has lost both. In January 2, he has to be a at Gloria Heroes on the Edsaw Joint. Massive fighting edition about six weeks ago, so we know he's in shape, but what sort of threat does he pose this evening? And now, please welcome to the red corner from South East London by way of Thailand! Well, very little introduction required. A four-time world champion. Over 250 fights as a professional. Still ranked third in the UK Muay Thai rankings at lightweight, just ahead of John O'Chip Chase. Stevie Brown and Andy Lofthouse. He's quite simply a legend of the game. Ritter Jack, Ray Samrit. Yeah, I'm very excited about seeing this man fight. Such a nice guy, so relaxed. And a wealth of experience and knowledge here. Full-time trainer at Double K Gym. And you can see it paying off in the fighters there and this guy is an animal when he fights great reception from this crowd at the O2 in London Ladies and gentlemen, this MTGP A class Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 61 kilogram division over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, finding out of the blue corner. He brings an excellent record of 41 fights with only seven defeats, representing Team NASA in France. It's Hakim Hermes. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He brings a tremendous record, 198 wins. 49 defeats and five draws. He's now representing Double K Gym in Eltham, South East London. From the beautiful country of Thailand, it's Richard Jack Kusambri. Just look at that fight record. 34 years of age. Over 250 contests, 198 wins. Would you like to get that to 200? Well, you can't buy that kind of experience. So away we go then, Richard Jack Kao Samrit. Fighting out of Double K Gym in the red corner. Kieran Kendall watching on. This is set for three threes. Hakim Hamesh is uh, 25 years of age, shared the ring with some really, really good names. Inu Takeru, lost to Dean James here at the third Muay Thai Grand Prix. Became the WBC world champ with a first round stoppage with Chachano Thailand in 2014. So he's certainly not short of experience himself. And I'm sure he will relish the opportunity to share the ring with 
a legend of the standing of Ritter Jack himself. Ritter Jack just looking for those elbows early. Yeah, throwing that left elbow from the back, but solid body kick in there from the start. There's that left elbow again. There's been three or four already this early in round one. Don't get paid for overtime in this sport. Absolutely not. This is a good start from Ritter Jack. Left, uh, right elbow, sorry. Nice turn. Beautiful, just the way you control the arm as well. <laughs> You're allowed to punch there. If you turn your back, it's your own fault in Muay Thai. And uh, Ritter Jack just capitalising, turning around the back and punching the... Uh, the Frenchman in the head there he seemed a bit annoyed about it, and uh, Richard Jack just said, "Yeah, and what?" <laughs> <laughs> Reminding him he's in a fight right from the word go. As you say, the mark of experience is just the ability to look as if you've got all the time in the world. When in reality, look at the position he's in. He's in the corner, back to the ropes, but. That's completely unflustered, like he's in control of the space. Look at that. <laughs> Just calmness personified. A little knee up the inside there from uh, Ritter Jack on the leg. But Kieran Kettle shouting that he hurt him to the body, so to work the body again. Whoa, lovely long left hand to the midsection. Kim Ramesh, every time he comes in, well, he just catches and turns his leg over. Puts him off balance. Nice teep. But there's no tell in the teep, is there either, Dave? It just comes out, pushes forwards. Beautiful work there from Ritter Jack. Where's the elbow? Look at that. Look at the movement there. It's just that awareness and of where the person's body is and where the, the exit balance is as well. And, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Just makes it look like he's having a walk around. Fantastic opener and, well, just the kind of control that we would have expected. I had some exciting contests over the years. He's not as active as he used to be, but I think that's probably to be expected when you've had 250 fights. It must take his toll. Finding his way as a, as a coach happy at the double K gym as well. I'm sure just the lure of the fight brings him back occasionally on the big stage. He's in a terrific encounter with Panikos Yusuf uh, three or four years ago at Yokao and uh, well, he was second best that night and just below oh, Yusuf in the ranking still I wonder whether he'd fancy that one again at some stage I'm sure the fans would love to see it here Away we go then, round number two after a controlled, competent opening round from Ritter Jack in the red corner. Lovely Hamesh. left body kicks from Ritter Jack there. It was good, but Hamesh came back. A couple of decent shots landed upstairs. Whoa, solid elbow, crashed through. Then the knee as well. And Hamesh is no doubt feeling these. Lovely knee to the body there from Joe from the back, uh, Ritter Jack. Look at the control in the clinch there from the tie. Referee just telling the uh, French corner to wipe up some water that was left there so the fighters don't slip. Well spotted. Like you say, it's the awareness of the exit. He knows where to go in to take the shot and then how to get out. Lovely left knee. It's clear he's working the body of the Frenchman. That straight left to the body and the, and the left knee from the back. He is, isn't he? He's making a really kind of deliberate effort to, to target the sternum. Just left hands coming straight through the middle. Body kicks, teeps. And those will, however well your condition, start to sink in and slow the younger man down. And maybe that's the game plan. <laughs> As you 
you say, Dave, just the balance and the awareness to be able to catch and move as well as he does. That's it. That's 200 fights for you. You only get that from being in there and doing it. He's waiting and waiting. Score and then block. Referee break him. One more minute, Joe, please. Great left body kick there from Ritterjack. Certainly for Hameshte, this is invaluable experience because whatever the result at the end of this, you can look back and just see the, the difference things he's got to work on. He's Ritter Jack here, not necessarily in his prime years, not necessarily in his physical prime at least, but he's using his weight so, so well, using his balance. Yeah, of course, when he was in his heyday in Thailand, he was fighting a lot lighter than this. Mm. This is 60, I think 61 today. He'd be right down in the 50s. So you can see it's not his natural weight, but he's so good. He can deal with the weight uh, disadvantage like that. He wouldn't have even had to cut weight for this. Kind of a rare luxury, really, that in, uh, in combat sports at this level, isn't it? To be able to, uh, certainly at uh, heavyweight, it's not unusual, but at this kind of weight, it's unusual for fighters to, to not have to kind of push their body into calorific deficit of some sort for a number of weeks. The fact he can do that will put him mentally in a good mind frame and mean he can enjoy the process in his kind of later years a little bit more than perhaps he was 10 years ago. Yeah, very much. It's uh, another day at the office for him. As we watch the replay here, great left body kick. Richard Jack just making sure he's scoring well with that left of the body and uh, using the teep to keep his man away. You can see the difference in uh, both corners. Yeah. French corner very frantic, telling their man what he needs to do. <laughs> you can see uh, Richard Jack's corner. Kieran Kettle very relaxed, Ritter Jack very relaxed. Easy game plan, Let's stick to that. It just seems as if the, the aggression of Hamesh is just being so easily neutralized by Ritter Jack, so calmly just takes the sting out of the tail. And Hamesh, the more he's neutralized, the more he tries to force the action like he is now. Maybe towards the beginning of the round while he's fresh, he may have small pockets of success, but over time, that's not going to be effective against someone as well schooled as Ritter Jack. Someone with the vision is able to just see those shots coming. Yeah, lovely work there from Ritter Jack, just tying his man up. Before that, the boxing throwing at angles. Oh, as uh, he helps him out the ring. <laughs> well, the last time I saw somebody out the ring was Fabio Pinker. We were shown Birmingham probably three and a half years ago. Don't know that we've seen anyone out the ring here. Nope. <laughs> he uh, he took himself on the way and Richard Jack just helped push him over. Oh, one for the pub, please. Just parried him off and over the ropes. Certainly had plenty of near misses, didn't we? We've seen somebody go uh, completely over the top rope until this evening. And the tables are made of sterner stuff. Richard Jack just timing that left kick again. It's an awareness of the scoring and making sure that he's up on point. There, yeah, that left body kick and then stepping in with the left knee. Minute 30 to go. Again, left kick landing. There's that knee. Driven in with some force. Just the techniques he throws, he throws them with power. Well timed, little sweep and knee there from Ritterjack. One more minute, Joe, last minute. Frenchman needs to push the action here if he has any chance of uh, doing something for me. I feel he needs a stoppage. Ritterjack just scoring more intelligently. Uh, 
there's that score again. That left body kick and left knee have been really dominant in this fight so far. Nice combination there from Ritter Jack with Harris just aggressively trying to muscle his way forward again. But well, there we go once again. Ritter Jack is turning him, kneeing to the back. That straight left hand sneaking its way through. So little tell on these shots. But all of the shots are telling. Let's say you see Ritter Jack there, his awareness of in the ring. <laughs> a bad feeling there from the Frenchman taking his man out of the ring there. Well, it's it's frustration, isn't it, for yeah. Hamesh? He's just been kind of uh, given a, a bit of a technical lesson at times here, and I think the, the calmness, the unflusterable nature of a man as experienced as Ritty Jack. Well, we're not in there with him, are we? And you can just see here, just getting frustrated and starting to launch into a salvo of punches and combinations. Just the way Ritty Jack's landing so cleanly. This might be it here. Let's have a look. Into the yeah, Ritty Jack goes in. through. I oh, know that's where he went over. Just helped him on his way. <laughs> you see. Ritter Jack here, just using his space, scoring with that kick, and then moving off. Always evading. Nice little sweep and right knee. Just making Amesh miss, wasn't he? I think maybe that was uh, one of the exchanges where the frustration kicked in. This is where he should have just lost yeah. it a little bit so, there. Richard has gone through. through the ropes and he starts punching him. <laughs> Sean Boland getting on top of that quickly. Well, and just, Sean, uh, yeah, absolutely. Saying. Sean Boland is just the kind of man you want in this situation. He's big, strong, doesn't take any nonsense, but he's firm and fair. Is he big and strong, is he? Listen, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say boo to Sean Bowley. You would then on your head be it, but very commanding in the in the ring there. And he kept order right through to the final bell. And uh Hamish's frustrations just taken out to the very last seconds there. Fingers crossed we can resolve that with the sportsmanship characteristic of this sport. The two men come to centre ring and our master of ceremonies, Peter Lowe, is standing by with the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both men after three excellent rounds of action. And at the end of those three completed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, it's Richard Jack. Kill Samri!